Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a rainbow tank top dress. Start by deciding where you want the center of your spiral to be and give it a little pinch. And if this is your first time to my channel, this is a microwave lid. It covers, you know, plates in your microwave. And I got it off of Amazon and it makes awesome spirals. And I have everything listed down in the description box, so go ahead and check all that stuff out. That's a good looking spiral. So now that it's all spiraled up, you want to secure it. And I prefer to use rubber bands, but you could also use kite string. It really is just a matter of preference. As I'm securing it, I like to tuck in all the loose tails. And I also try to have my rubber bands intersect in the center of the spiral. Now, they don't have to, but I just find that it helps me when adding the die to have all the pieces of pie. There is a fly that is just bombarding me, it keeps flying in my face. Did you see me try to karate chop him? Now you wanna use a washable marker and mark out your pattern. For this particular spiral, I'm just going to be using the six colors of the rainbow. So I'm going to make six pieces of the pie. Now marking out your pattern is not a necessary step, but it helps me keep myself in order. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. So normally I use lemon yellow first and my theory behind that is because it's able to go in and start reacting with the fibers and the cotton and I think like I'm going to have a better chance of having more yellow. But it was suggested to me that maybe I should do the lemon yellow last and see if I get more yellow. So that's what I'm gonna do in this. So cross your fingers and hope that I have more yellow in the final project.
All of my containers are in use, so I'm dying on a dye towel, and it's making a huge mess, and it bothers me. I don't like to have dye all over the place, so sorry about that. This project is going to have a black back, so you want to flip it over, and when adding the black, you want to work quickly because you don't want to oversaturate it. Like I said, all of my containers are in use, so I'm sticking it inside of a plastic bag, and then I'm going to put it in one of my totes, I'm going to put the lid on it and then I'm going to set it outside in the sunshine and let it batch for 24 hours. It's been 24 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. You want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then gradually increase the water to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent that I get from Dharma. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, and that brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And I also get that from Dharma. Now, Synthropol has been discontinued and it's now called Kirillon. So if you're looking for it, I do have a link for it down below in the description box. You can also get Dharma's textile detergent. I think that's exactly what it's called is Dharma's textile detergent. They're exactly the same. So it's just a matter of preference. Well, here it is guys. Here's our tank top dress after it's been washed and dried. And I absolutely love it. I say that about everything, but I really do love the good old fashioned rainbow spiral with a black back. The black just makes the colors pop. It's so beautiful. And I've got quite a bit of yellow, so maybe that worked. I'll try it again next time and see if I still have luck with it. So what do you guys think of this dress? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all for notification of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie dyeing.